we think it's the wave of the future. For thousands of years, cultures across the globe have burned their dead. Today, that process comes in the form of fire cremations, an option Oklahomans are using more and more. Yes, in Oklahoma, oh, we're currently 53.8% statewide with cremation. But at the McElyea and Owens funeral home in Shawnee, there's something new. This is the first machine in the state equipped to carry out alkaline hydrolysis or liquid cremation. The process is already happening in about 20 U.S. states and was approved by the state legislature in 2021. So why change the way cremations have seemingly always been carried out? The biggest reason, Owens says, the environment. It's much more eco-friendly. Um, we, we feel like that I mean, Mike, Mike, my business partner, and I is a big deal to us to take that approach with our business um, and you lead from the front. In fire cremations, Owen says the process uses intense heat, up to 1,800 degrees, and that means feeding a lot of fuel to that fire. When that happens, we have to vent out uh, into the atmosphere we end up pumping out about 540 pounds of, of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. While the liquid cremation process takes longer, Owen says it's much gentler. So, how does it work? They're brought in here and they're put into this particular vessel. This vessel is filled with water. The funeral director then adds chemicals for the process. At McElyea and Owens, they use potassium hydroxide. Then comes the tilt. When Once everything's locked down, we, could, we then Crank this, it'll be a little pop here. Owen says this helps keep the liquid circulating as the process runs for the next 15 hours. The process of hydrolysis occurs and it just basically just melts away the tissues and the organs and when we're done, what we have left are skeletal remains. The bones are then dried and pulverized into remains you would normally get with a fire cremation, with some differences. With a flame retort, the color of those is just a little bit on the gray side. Ours is pure white, and we get about 20% more ash than they get with the flame retort. There's also the liquid that's left behind of tissue and organs dissolved from the body. Owen says it's virtually sterile, broken down to its base elements with no traces of DNA or RNA. He even says that liquid is something that can be used in farming. We will share that liquid with uh, uh, those involved with agriculture because it makes a perfect fertilizer. Um, and uh, we have the, uh, the data, the statistics to back all of that up. There are people already doing this all over the country. And so we're not uh, breaking any new ground there. Of course, with new things comes a little hesitation, especially when it comes to treating a loved one's remains. There's some squeamishness at the thought of dissolving the dead, but the directors say they've heard the exact opposite. People are more um, enticed by it when they hear about how much gentler a process it is. You know, there is no flame, there is no intense heat. And I, I can't tell you how many people have, over my career, have, have said, I just don't want to be burned. 